For those of us who are excited about System 76's Cosmic Rust desktop, I'm back with another update on something we haven't quite tested yet. After getting wind of Cosmic's text editor and how it was updated, I had to check it out. I was quite excited, so I installed and built this live on my preview system. Let's check it out together. First, I'm going to run Cosmic Edit directly from the terminal, which will actually launch the application itself. We'll make it a little bigger so we can see it and go through some of the amazing features, including them built inside. I'll show you what I mean in a few moments, but let's first start typing in here. So I'll just do something like Savvy Nick was here, and we can see what the default text looks like. Not sure what font this is, but we can check it out in a moment. I'll write some simple function as well. That way we can see if there's any syntax highlighting at the moment. Doesn't seem to be, at least for C++ by default, and I can't seem to use tabs at the moment. So spaces it is. Anyways, I wrote a simple function here in C++, and the first thing I'm gonna do is save the file. I can save it anywhere I want. I'll just put it on the desktop, for example. I'm gonna call it Cosmic Edit. And with that saved, I'm going back to opening it up just to make sure that we can save and open at the moment. Looks like things are working properly there. At least you have most of the basic functions in order to use them. Notice how we have tabs. So as you're creating new documents, you can hit the plus button, which will create these new tabs for you. You can also exit out as well. I do like the tabbing feature in Cosmic Edit. Most modern text editors have them. All right, let's check out some of the other features here. So we have document statistics, which is a pleasant way of seeing things like word count, which is clearly a to-do item, the number of characters that show up in the document, characters without spaces, and lines. What's the distinction between these two? Well, characters without spaces just means the raw characters that don't include a space because spaces are considered characters as well. Anyways, continuing on the document statistics, I can see them adding even more statistics to that. I do like how it's not at the bottom, like you see in some editors, where it just takes up unnecessary space. I do feel that some people may want to have it at the bottom. That way they can see some of those statistics, especially things like current line number and or what position you are on a line. Continuing on, we have a bunch of features that have not been quite put in. So we're gonna move on to edit, where you have the normal undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, and select all. Those all seem to be working fine. And we have the find and replace tool, which is not currently working. Still seem to be working on that. And finally, spell check at the bottom. I assume this is actually going to be for settings. I'll show you what I mean in a moment, but that's what I assume is going to be the check spell settings. Moving on to view, here's where it gets fun. Currently we have automatic indentation set, but we can also set tab width. I do like how this is a direct feature in Cosmic Edit. So I'm gonna set my tab width to four. And right now that just doesn't seem to be working. Anytime I hit tab, it really doesn't do any kind of indentation. And here's it in full screen mode. Although the indentation is not working, I do see where they're going with the different types of settings for indentation. This is a great thing that not all text editors give us. And it is nice to have a choice. Word wrapping, showing the line numbers. Again, not something I see here. Highlight the current line. Then we have syntax highlighting, which I again presume is gonna be a setting in which language we're currently using. So it can detect and do the syntax highlighting properly. Settings are definitely one thing I wanna go over because I'm excited about this. Notice here you have theme and enable theme bindings. Two of my favorite things inside of Cosmic Edit where you can easily flip through your themes. Look at all the pre-installed themes available to you right away, such as YouTube Studio Dark. You can see it switches right away on the left-hand side. A little too bright for my taste, GitHub. We got Leet, as well as Dark Neon. Dracula is a pretty popular theme and so on and so forth. Definitely easy to select a theme with many, many themes already pre-installed for you. A great feature in the appearance settings for Cosmic Edit. What theme do you think they are lacking pre-installed? Let me know in the comments section. Maybe they'll add it pre-release. Anyways, this is also where you change your fonts in which I do see some changes over on the left-hand side as I'm going through. I'm sure there's gonna be plenty more added especially ones that are considered coding fonts. The default font size can be changed as well. I'm going up to 20, just making things a lot bigger. Those are all working settings at the moment. And finally, I'm going to enable the Vim bindings, my favorite feature of this whole entire Cosmic Edit text editor. 
Let's give this a shot. How well does it work? But before we do, subscribe below. I'm trying to get to 50,000 subscribers. And if you enjoy following along with these cosmic updates, you won't want to miss the next one. Now enabling the Vim bindings. What does that look like? Does that change things? Yes, it does. So notice over here, instead of using my mouse and clicking around, can I do that? Yes, I can. But if I try to backspace, notice that it's not letting me backspace. Instead, now I have to use the same bindings and shortcuts that Vim requires in order to make edits. So for example, if I wanted to insert a new line, so here I hit the I key and you'll see insert at the very bottom being listed. Now I can actually put something in. So here we go. I'm just going to type something else out, savvy Nick, and put an end line at the end. So now you kind of notice how that works. For example, if I wanted to add a line between main and the standard C out, I would hit O and that would insert a new line and I can start typing again. Things like DD, I assume will work at some point. They don't currently work. That's just to delete a single line. Definitely not all the bindings working from Vim quite yet, but I do really like how they have this. So if I do colon two, that should take me to line two. That was a bad example, colon three or four, maybe five. It's not really taking me to a new line. So that's not available yet either, but search is. So if I do C out and I search for it, notice how it's highlighting the C and C out. So search is working. If I do C out and I press N, it does actually highlight the word C out. But what's not working is the wrap around. If I hit N, I can't wrap around to get to my next location. That just might be a settings thing, not a big deal. Another thing I could try doing is uh, searching the opposite way. So if I do N line, notice that it goes back up. Very good. The basic functionality for Vim is here directly in Cosmic Edit, which makes me super excited because definitely get used to using Vim on production environments. For example, headless servers where I go into and I only have a console. Vim is my go-to editor of choice. So if I'm doing that day in and day out, I get very used to using Vim and it becomes a habit, especially when I don't want to use my mouse. So having the key bindings directly in Cosmic Edit, a text editor that I plan on using quite a bit is a fantastic thing in my opinion. Let me know what you think about the key bindings for Vim. Would you like key bindings from something else as well in here? And in System76 fashion, they just make it super easy to toggle on and off like their tiling support. It's a great feature if you want it and must have it for those of us that must have it. But for the others that don't want it, it's easily replaced. One thing I want to say is I don't see any way of telling whether or not there have been edits to this file. So I don't see like a dot or anything up top. I assume they're going to do that because I just exited the file and I assume that it did not save my changes. So I'm going to open that file again and see where we're at. No, it did not change my file, which is what I expected. It does stick to the theme that I have. Let's see if I enable key bindings, whether that saves or not. I'm going to hit save and I'm going to exit out completely, open up Cosmic Edit, go to settings and my key bindings for Vim are still enabled. So we do have persistent saves of settings and configuration, which is fantastic. So you can try it out. If you do want to try this out, you can install the Cosmic Edit package. Check out my video on how to set up and test the pre-alpha here of Cosmic Rust desktop. Let me know what you think of Cosmic Edit, and I'm super excited to be using and testing a new tool from System76 as they're rolling through their new desktop environment and bringing us the latest and greatest in development on Linux. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux, and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.